So Donald Trump has decided to promote birtherism again, but instead of questioning whether or not Joe, uh, Barack Obama um, is uh, was born in this country, he is questioning whether Kamala Harris uh, was born in this country. Um, and this all stems from an article published in Newsweek titled, Some Questions for Kamala Harris About Eligibility. It was written by John C. Eastman, professor of law, Chapman University, and senior fellow at the Claremont Institute. Um, now, this article is a complete piece of garbage. Um, in it, the author says that because Kamala Harris's parents were not U.S. citizens at the time of her birth, um, neither they nor she were um, in the subject to the jurisdiction of the United States, um, and therefore not only is she not eligible to be uh, vice president, she is not eligible to be a senator, which she currently is. Um, so, without, I mean, like, there's just the first part of this, which is, as I said, she's already a U.S. Senator. She's been a U.S. Senator since January 3rd, 2017. She was the 32nd Attorney General of California from January 3rd, 2011 to January 3rd, 2017, and she was the 27th District Attorney of San Francisco from January 8th, 2004 to January 3rd, 2011. So, um, what this law professor is telling us is um, Kamala Harris has been in U.S. government um, in, in some form or another, either state or federal, for a while now, um, and that all this time she has she has uh, hid the fact that she was not a U.S. citizen. Um, he, he, he really expects people to be so dumb that they would believe that. Um, you don't think that, oh, I don't know, um, she would have been ineligible for those positions because she wasn't a U.S. citizen? Um, that's just complete um, baloney, um, to put it nicely. Um, but if you look at the... Um, if, if you go to the uh, a website, the U.S. Cit US Citizenship and Immigration Services, um, they have, in the policy manual, um, there's Chapter 3, U.S. Citizens at Birth. Um, and it says, A person born in the United States who is subject to the jurisdiction of the United States is a U.S. citizen at birth to include a person born to a member of an Indian, Eskimo, Aleutian, or other Aboriginal tribe. Um, now, as I said, the, the law professor was like, well, uh, she wasn't really um, subject to the jurisdiction because her parents weren't citizens. Um, sir, that, that's not how that works. <laughs> um, if you are on U.S. territory you are subject to the jurisdiction of the United States of America. Um, and on top of that, she was born in the United States of America. She was born in Oakland, California on October 20th, 1964. So Kamala Harris fits both criteria for... Um, uh, she she fits both quite cr criteria in which she could be a U.S. citizen. Um, 
So she is perfectly eligible to be vice president or president or a senator. She is perfectly eligible to be um, in, to, to, to have a position within um, the U.S. government, either state or federal. Um, but we all know why uh, Trump is doing this. We all know why uh, John Eastman is doing this. Um, and the answer is because Kamala Harris is a woman of color. I I'm not one of those people that just like throws this accusation of racism around or xenophobia around um, um, casually, you know. I, um, but in this case, I think it is more than warranted um, because we know for a fact that imagine Elizabeth Warren were um, uh, was the person that Joe Biden chose to be vice president. Um, people would tear, the Republicans would tear her apart anyway, but they wouldn't say, oh, Elizabeth Warren isn't born in the United States, or I'm not sure she's eligible to be vice president. Um, it's only because people can separate themselves from Kamala Harris because she's a woman of color um, that we can say, well, I'm not sure she's eligible for that position. Um, it's sad that a law professor is spreading lies like that. It's sad that the president of the United States is spreading lies like that. Um, you know, it's true that her parents weren't U.S. citizens when she was born. Um, her father was from Jamaica and her mother was from India. But in what I just read you, uh, nowhere does it say, um that your parent, both your parents have to be U.S. citizens, or even just one of your parents has to be U.S. citizen um, in order for you to be born, um, or to be a U.S. citizen if you were born in the United States. Um, and I guess I just also want to say, I personally um, do not really like Kamala Harris that much. Um, I think it's a slap in the face when Joe Biden um, picked her as his VP, it was a slap in the face to those of us who um, actually fight for progressive policies. Um, it was a slap in the face to um, the left. Um, she is not a good. Uh, she is not a good vice presidential candidate. Um, and if she happens to take over for Joe Biden, because Joe Biden is not doing very well, it seems. Um, she will not be a good presidential, or she will not be a good president. Um, she will be better than Donald Trump, of course. Um, but still, that's kind of a low bar. Um, you know, her j just her prosecutory record alone is... Um, illustrates to me that um, she is not a good choice for VP or um, for the presidency, um, let alone her um, political career, which is equally uninspiring. Um, but I don't have to lie about who she is um, in order to criticize her. Um, there is plenty to criticize um, Kamala Harris for... Um, just, again, by looking at her political record, looking at her record as a prosecutor, um, I, I don't have to lie and say that she is not a U.S. citizen um, or that she's not eligible to be, um, uh, to, to be vice president just because she's a woman of color. Um, it, again, it's, it's I, 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 I'm, I'm saddened and angered that um, I live in a society where um, that kind of thing happens um, when politicians pander to the racists um, in order to score political points um, or even just um, even just someone with with certain amount of influence like the guy who wrote that article um, just like even a law professor is willing to um, pander to racists in order for the Republican Party to get um, to get a boost so to speak 
Um, so it's you know it's 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 disgusting. Um, it's appalling. Um, I am sorry that Kamala Harris has to go through that. Um, I hope that one day, I hope that I live to see a world where um, people like Kamala Harris don't have to go through that if they want to be um, public figures. Um, but I guess as this shows, we haven't quite reached that world yet, um, so we've got a long way to go. So, um, I think that's it. Um, again, I don't personally like Kamala Harris, um, but um, I'm not going to spread lies about her just because she's not white. So, uh, thank you for listening, um, and take care.